Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is boot the IO test. I'm going to reset it here. And with the little logos, it's able to display pix maps. And now we have to interact with it. Uh, I actually broke the touchscreen that it came with, sadly. So I have a replacement touchscreen, which is wired reverse from uh, the one that it came with. Uh, so right now, if I try to touch, you can see the touch is in the wrong place. You can see the selection. If I go left, it goes right. Uh, thankfully, I have written code to fix, take care of that. So you can move the selection here either with the rotary encoder um, and select with button B. So now I can do a calibration by following the lines. Done, there we go. It's showing that it's reversed, so it knows now what to do. And see, now I can select properly where I'm going like this. Uh, the interesting thing is on both screens I got, here you can see the colors being a bit wrong in the corner. It is a, the corner here, uh, it's not the same sensitivity to touch. And the colors are actually uh, the pressure of the touch. So it still works, but it's, not, it's just not showing the right pressure here. But hey, well, you know, it's a cheap thing. So you can, uh, in most demos, you can use button A to clear, clear the screen. There we go. So you start over like this. B will exit the demo, go back to the main menu. And uh, we've already seen here the rotary encoder. So actually, now if we pay attention in the corner, you see LED brightness. It's actually controlled by the rotary encoder. So at 16 right now, it's very bright. If I go less bright, you can see the LEDs going down. The LCD backlight also goes less bright. It's kind of, you can see a little bit, and now it's completely off. That's the minimum brightness. It's a little bit difficult to control the brightness with PWM because this is also behind an I.O. expander and you cannot talk to it more than about a, more than maybe a thousand times a second. So it makes it difficult to get different levels of uh, brightness. But I, I have four levels that are visible and the brightness is more visible on the LEDs. So I'm going to make it less bright so I don't overwhelm the camera. And then by pushing the rotary encoder when I'm turning it, now you can see the speed number going down to one and the colors that are automatically changing are not changing a lot more quickly. I know it's a bit hard to see on the camera. And I'm gonna slow it back down by turning the rotary encoder while keeping it pushed. And now the LEDs will take more time. I'm gonna put it back to a brightness. There we go, like this. So that is, those are the basic controls um, of the board then I'll be showing uh, different demos after that.